explain that one is their biological age and one is their like their nervous system's age. Yeah. So when a person comes into the office, they give us the age, we put that in there. So that's what we're seeing right here. This person really is 66 years old, but biologically they're more like a 71 year old because of their stress. Their stress, their unbalanced nervous system, their lack of sleep. And once we can get that nervous system rebooted, we can, in just that one session, we lowered this by four years. So that's the value of being able to show that person four weeks later what you've been able to do, or eight weeks later, or even 12 weeks later. The other value is, is you've got a person three months down the road, they stop coming in, they're missing appointments, they're not doing what you're asking at home, they're changing their diet. All of a sudden they go back, they come in, they're 5% lower and all these things we're just looking at. They come back in the next month, they go back up. So it clicks with them now. This is, these are lifestyle changes. These aren't just temporary fixes. So it helps you to keep that client engaged in care and showing how your care is improving what they're doing. This complex analysis tab kind of summarizes what we were just going over. The green being the, the autonomic nervous system, the blue being their cardiovascular adaptation, neurohormonal regulation, psychomotion. So what it does is it gives us an idea where all four of those regulatory systems were, and they were at 20%. Now, in one session, we boosted all those systems up to 53%. This person was about 28% below where they should be. Now we've got them up here, much higher, 5% above where they should be. So this is a good gauge, and we're going to show you in the next slide where that person's coming in and how we can move them up. So the average person that we see comes in in this 20 to 40% range in this unstable regulation. Our goal then is to move them up to this stable and then up into this balance. And like we said, if they stay with us long enough, most people that are older, we try to get them in the 60 to 80% range. What we found on a monthly basis, we can move people about five to seven to 10%. So over time, we can continue to move them with care. We see a we see a big change here, like we said, but over time, we can incrementally move this up. So again, it gives you a good indication of where they're at so they can see, okay, I'm in this 20% range. I need to be above 60%. So that's the goal. You'll be able to, you'll be able to show them on a monthly basis how they're moving through your care, through your protocols, and what you've got them doing at home. And of course... The brain tap is something they can be doing every day, twice a day to help move this. We can see right here the movement that just happened in one session. Think about what happens when you start doing that twice a day, every day. Now, one of the other things that the software shows you is a daily forecast where that client energy is at. We like this because we can show people when is a good time to use the brain tap. So these are two different examples. This person's energy goes down six o'clock, starts going back up, but right here about three o'clock, good time for them to use the brain tap and at nine o'clock. And this is a person whose energy now starts going up and stays up. This might be a person who's not able to sleep as well, but once they start using the brain tap, now at 10 o'clock, their energy is going to start going down and building back up to six o'clock instead of going down. But for this person, brain tap at seven o'clock, brain tap at three o'clock. So with this software, you can show people a good time when it, they can use the brain tap to get the most advantage of it. But really, energy starts going down at 12 o'clock to three o'clock. If they're at work or at home, this is a good time to reboot their brain, to get refocused, re-energized. Now, about 60% of the practitioners we, we work with are chiropractors. So what we're going to show now in the next few slides are going to be more of how energy works in the body. This isn't how the spine is structurally. It's how these five areas of the spine, which have organs and glands in them, are feeding energy to the spine. So this is where the energy is at. And you can see each of these five areas where they are percentage-wise. And in one session, how we move these percentages up. 
with a brain tap. And with another session, we had 50, 39, 63. We moved all these up here in the 90s, close to 100. And what these colors represent is this is a person where energy flow is blocked. This is where it's significantly reduced. This would be someone where the energy flow is kind of in a balanced range. This would be good. This would be excellent. So what we would like to see, if we go back here, you would like to see green and blue. So this is a person whose energy flow is unsatisfactory. This is satisfactory. This is good. So you'll be able to show people with your care, especially in with chiropractic adjustment, how we can change the energy flow in these organs and glands, which ultimately helps the structure of how the spine is functioning. For people who are energy medicine, people who do acupuncture, naturopaths, we've got this energy slide, which shows you where the energy centers are. So you've got all seven of these energy centers and you can see where 58 to 97, 49 to 85. So as you look down here, you can see the change that happened energetically with just one brain tap session. So this is something else for naturopaths, energy medicine doctors, acupuncturists. We're going to show meridians next. How you can show them how your care is changing the energy of their body. This is an example of these 12 meridians in the body. We've got the lungs, the large intestine, the stomach, the spleen, the heart, the small intestine, the bladder, the kidneys, the pericardium, the triple warmer, gallbladder, liver. So all of these, like we said earlier, should be above 60%. So we can see percentage-wise where they're at. And we can see percentage-wise what happened after one brain tap session. Now, we're using brain tap as an example here. You might be using whatever therapy or protocol in your office along with brain tap to be able to show these changes. This is another example. This person wasn't as bad off, but we've got everything into the green. So usually if you get, you get all these above 60%, they're going to be all green. They're going to be functioning better. Their systems, organs and glands, we function optimally. It also gives a snapshot of where the aura is at, the energy field of the body. So. This person started out at 37%. So like we showed with the complex analysis, all four of those regulatory systems were at 37%. Now, as an example, on the energy medicine side of the HRV system, we've moved this up to 81%. So again, more energy, more optimal performance. So... A lot of times I'll tell someone they came in like a 37 watt light bulb. Now we've got them up to an 81 watt light bulb. They're functioning much better. For those who do Ayurveda, we've got the doshas, the pitta, vata, and kapha, and we also have the five elements. So this is something else that if you are a naturopath in nutri medicine and you utilize these tools, this is another way you can gauge where that patient's at and how they're functioning. Now, the last one of the slides that we have, for those of you that want the nuts and bolts of how HRV works, all these values, these parameters, we've got them here for you. If you want to do studies or test in your office, you can make this an Excel sheet, give you all the information. So if you want to know what these acronyms are, they're all referenced over here. So for a lot of people who want to know what these values are, you may have a wearable. A lot of these wearables have some of these things, but the value of the brain tap HRV is it's self-explanatory like you just saw. It's patient friendly, it's practitioner friendly. And for most people, they go over about three or four of these slides. We went over all of them today, but most practitioners pick about three or four to go over. And they usually charge anywhere from $50 to $80 for a test. And believe it or not, the one thing that people want to know when they come back is if they're younger. They don't really care where their stress is at. Because most people come in 5 to 10 years older than they should be. 
So they want to know, especially the women, they want to know if they're younger. That's the first thing the practitioners tell me with the test. It's trivial as that seems, probably the most important tab for women who come back to your office. For the clinical benefits of the brain tap HRV, we just covered a few of those. It provides a quick, non-evasive way to gauge general health conditions via the HRV and the digital pulse analysis. It shows the client's starting point. Before and after scans can reveal the impact of the therapy. It helps you adjust therapy if needed. It helps clients see the changes, even if they can't feel them yet, and allows you to easily track health changes over time. And this is probably the most important one because we showed some people who were really compromised. It helps you know when to push harder or when to pull back on your therapy. For us, people would say, my pain's gone. They thought they were better. They would leave. So now we can say, great, your pain's gone, but your stress has went down 100 points, but it's still 200 points above where it should be. Your nervous system's not quite balanced. We need to get it balanced. Your energy's not quite where it needs to be. So the good thing is, is when people don't think anything's happening, the Brain Gap HRV can show them what you're doing and what's happening. 